Now let's look at types of select statement. In my mind, I can divide up select statements into many different types. All these listed here. Simple query, filtered query, sorted query, join, subquery, table creation, view creation, hierarchical query. Take a breath, that's quite a few. Now let's go back to the start again. What is a simple query? In my mind, a simple query is quite simply put a select of all columns from a single table. So I'm going to go to my notepad and I'm going to copy and paste this simple query. I'm going to go to SQL Plus and I'm going to paste it in and run it. The simple query selects all columns from the category table. Let me show you a trick. Let's say I wanted to run that command again. I simply type the front slash, which means look at the last command in the buffer, the last SQL statement, and re-execute it. The one thing you can probably notice here is that the category table actually has three columns, category ID, name, and parent ID. I cannot see the parent ID because it's off the screen, and I've set wrap off, and I've set the line size to 132. I could wrap it, so I could set wrap on again, and I could once again select star from category, and it would wrap around to the next row, which doesn't appear to have done, because what I've got to do is to set wrap on, and paste it again, and again. The reason why is because line size is set to something nasty, so let's go and set it to 40. And now we wrap, so now we see the category name and parent ID. That looks quite ugly. What I generally tend to do is I use SQL Plus for a lot of database administration, a lot of testing, a lot of experimentation. For the purposes of this course, I could be using SQL Plus Worksheet. SQL Plus Worksheet is quite a lot friendlier in terms of showing the results. Let's clear this bottom window, and let's execute this. And here we have the wrapping set on and the line size. So what we'll do is at the beginning of this, we'll actually set wrap off. And we'll set line size on the same line. And we'll re-execute this command. Now what we should be able to do is to use the scroll bar to go across. The point I'm trying to make here is that the SQL Plus worksheet is quite a lot friendlier, as in user-friendlier, in terms of displaying data reporting. It's more of an end user tool than SQL Plus is. Now I'm in iSQL Plus. We have looked at SQL Plus, SQL Plus Worksheet, and iSQL Plus. For the purposes of displaying the output from SQL statements, probably the best tool to use is iSQL Plus. It just looks so much nicer. So let's scroll down here, and here we have a listing of the category table. Now let's go on to the next one, a filtered query. What is a filtered query? All a filtered query is doing is selecting from the table and then applying what's called a WHERE clause. It's filtering out data. Here I am selecting all rows that match a pattern of A and anything. The percentage is a wild card, so it's saying where a name is like A, dot, 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 whatever you like. So let's execute our next SQL statement with the WHERE filtering clause in iSQL Plus. And here we have two rows from the category table where their names start with A. The next type of query, a sorted query. Sorted means ordered in a certain fashion. What we're going to do is we're going to sort this query by the name of the category. So now, back in iSQL Plus, we'll paste our sorted query and we'll execute it. And we'll go down and we'll see AA, BB, etc., etc. We have sorted it in the order of the name of the category. Note the category ID. This is a sequence number. The order in which they were generated would be the order of the numbers of the category ID. So if we were to just list this table without the order clause, it would be in a totally different order. So let's execute that and demonstrate it, as you can see. This output is no longer in the order of the name field. Next, a join query. A join is literally a join or a merge between multiple tables. In this case, 
two tables. Note I have something down here that says new ANSI format. It also says difficult to tune. We'll get onto that in a minute. The new ANSI format is from the American National Standards Institute, which is more or less a non-profit organization which establishes standards for programming languages, etc. Oracle allows compliance with the ANSI format. However, most relational databases use SQL in their own proprietary format. It's more or less very similar to this. Oracle has certain tricks and tips, which we'll look at later on, which allow you to tune Oracle SQL statements very proactively. The ANSI format, because of the way it's structured, from what I've seen lately in Oracle 9i, could be possibly very difficult to tune. At this stage, these select statements are getting a little complicated, and we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. So I'm not going to show you any more physical examples in SQL Plus or SQL Plus Worksheet or ISQL Plus at this point in time. I'm just going to show you how they're structured and simply describe them very quickly. As we've already discussed, a subquery is a query executed within a query or in many other ways. For instance, you can execute subqueries inside other types of data manipulation language, what Oracle calls DML query statements, such as insert statements, delete statements, update statements, many other places. The point is, it is a subset query executed inside some other piece of SQL code. 